All right, a quick and easy way to make your spelling lists uh, easier to find and more useful for the person that does find them. It's coming uh, here, I see week three, week two, week one. So if I wanted to go back, I could go back here. Um, I would have to scroll down and, and find it. So a quick and easy way to kind of help organize a document that you want to sustain as a single document or kind of like a source of truth is to leverage uh, bookmarks and the table of contents. So we're going to start with uh, leveraging the table of contents. That's just going to then ask me if I want to format each of my different um, kind of bullets or links or anchors within a document. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is a heading, change that, I'm going to scroll down to the next one, and we're going to make that a heading as well. Then we'll go down to this one and we'll make that a heading. So all that did was uh, kind of some simple formatting, but you'll see that right away when I come up here, and I use the insert table of contents. I've created hyperlinks to each one of those, week one, week two, and week three. And of course I can number these or bullet them or what have you. I can even align them right if I wanted to keep them there. And there they are. So I have week three directly here. Um, let's say I wanted to also pull out or call out specifically the shopping list. So again, I can highlight the shopping list change this, this is going to be heading 2 this time, and we'll actually scroll down, do the same thing with all of these, normal text heading 2, normal text heading 2. So using the table of contents I've created, just changed the formatting, nothing too big, gone back into here, Updated it, and again, I have week three, two, one, and the shopping list kind of highlighted and organized for the person that comes to it. So let's say that I also wanted to have um, specifically the pretest words kind of called out or linked to each week. So if I say insert a bookmark, now what I've done is create kind of an anchor or a link. And so if I always wanted to go to the pretest words, and then I'm not going to use the table of contents this time. I think I'm going to move that one back over there though. So not using the table of contents, but using uh, just the hyperlinks directly in there. I can go into insert, and now I want this to be in every footer. I want to say pretest words week, and then let's say one for this, or week three for this one, week three. Now this is going to be in the footer, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, and italicize it. Now I'm going to highlight week three, click on link, and then insert the bookmark. So now as I scroll down, I'll see that I have the pretest words for week three linked directly here. So I want to be able to, if I do send somebody down to week one, how do I quickly get back up to week three? By utilizing the same feature that we just shared, but only using the header. So insert, and then header. You paste those in, now you can kind of edit them. We're not going to use the shopping list this time. And you want to bring these kind of together. We're actually going to just put a line directly between them like that. And so now I'm going to make these smaller, make them bold, kick them into the upper right hand corner, and I will have the hyperlinks for weeks three, week two, and week. It is important to point out too that each link, no matter what it is, actually needs to be clicked on and then you'll see the actual link here. So I, this will take me up to week three. I can quickly from here jump down to week one or from here I can jump up to week two. Um, so just a quick way to kind of keep your document organized and a little bit easier for someone that slides in and just wants to find something really quickly.